Welcome back everybody. Today is Monday and that means tomorrow is reset day. That means I have a new weekly that I need to quickly finish before tomorrow. I'm ready to start doing custom deliveries. Custom deliveries are weekly time gated quest chains for crafters and gatherers. You're allowed to do up to 12 quests a week, six per NPC. You can begin doing custom deliveries once you finish the Stormblown MSQ. I've held off starting the quest because I wanted to wait until I had a level 90 crafter because the rewards for turning in the quest are purple and white scripts, whereas if you're not level 90, you only receive white scripts. Purple and white scripts can be used to buy all sorts of items in the game. You can buy gear, materia, crafting regions, and new crafting and gathering books that are filled with new recipes. I plan to use the purple scripts to buy the item level 620 crafting gear. Use the white scripts to buy grip gel, which sells for anywhere between 10 to 15,000 each. Once I finish my gear, I will most likely use my purple scripts to buy eggplants, which at the time of this video are used to make the top tier food. To unlock custom deliveries, you need to first head to Ildoshire and pick up the quest Arms Wide Open from Gaimona? <laughs> this quest will unlock your first client, Slowy. She's the big sister of Chloe, who you receive your journal from every week. The next custom delivery I want to open is Ed Crotch, the pig-headed bartender standing next to Slowy. To unlock him, the first thing we need to do is head to Reunion and Asm Steps. We need to accept Purple Rain from the Atacarum warrior you go kill three marlboros turn in the quest and head back to Ildershire. we can now accept between a rock then a hard place from gimlona which will unlock ad garage now we need to craft their turnins the first tier is three turnins and every subsequent tier will be six if you look at my crafting gear you can see that it's pretty horrible I'm hoping to be able to fill these orders without spending gill upgrading my gear and just use the purple scripts to buy my upgrades for later custom deliveries. Since Zoe's crafts are way easier than Artie's, I'm going to make hers first. To bring up her deliveries, click on duty, click timers, and then click custom deliveries. And this will bring up all the clients you have unlocked. Next, click on Zoe. I want to use a crafter, so I need to make three Eastern antiques. I need two Near Eastern Antique components to make the Near Eastern Antiques. So I go outside and I talk to the Scrap Salvager, open items level one and buy six of them. I'll need to make these items high quality for the best rewards. Luckily at level 80, you learn the spell Train Die, which automatically makes any craft high quality as long as the first spell you cast and your crafter is at least 10 levels higher than the item. So as you can see, I have no trouble completing these scraps. Next, I want to go and craft Artie's first three. So just like the OA, I open up the item to find the ingredients. Once again, I talk to the scrap salvager, only this time Artie's items will be under level two. Okay, let's attempt to make it. I start with trained eye, which makes me oom, and use make basic synthesis. I progress 126 out of 880. I have five more attempts. So basic math tells me I will currently fail. Maybe tricks of the trade will proc and I'll regain enough CP to mastermans to have more attempts. Nope. I fail. Okay, what do I do? I really don't want to spend gill buying gear that will be quickly replaced with the 620 purple script gear I plan to buy. Maybe after I turn in all six Zoe quests, I'll have enough purple scripts to buy enough gear to allow me to make Artie's stuff. So I head over to Zoe, turn in her tier one. I then receive different items for tier two. So I head back over to the script salvager and buy six Corthon souvenir components to make three Corthon souvenirs to finish Zoe's six turn ins for the week. I now have 819 purple scripts to play with. My boots and gloves are my worst left side gear, so I buy these. I'm one purple script short from being able to buy a ring. Hopefully this will be enough to make Artie's junk. I fell again. Uh, okay, now what? Well, I really don't want to spend any gill, but I'm, the problem I'm having is that trained eye is making me oom um, and I'm not able to use Masterman to have more attempts per craft. 
So maybe I just cut into my funds of the white scripts and I buy level 80 jewelry for now for to have more CP to be able to finish Artie's crap. Try again. Woohoo, I did it! Okay, so although I cut into my grip gels funds, I can successfully make Artie's weekly garbage. So I turn in his tier one, I go back and make his tier two. I still have enough white scripts to buy two grip gels and make about 20,000 gil, which isn't that bad since I had garbage gear that couldn't make anything. Now you can also use your white scripts to unlock new recipes for your crafting and gathering jobs. To unlock access to these books, first you need to head over to Mordana and accept just tooling around from Guiding Star. Just talk to the NPC and you can turn in the quest. You can now buy tombs one and two from Talon right next to him, but it's probably just cheaper to just use white scripts from the and go to the scriber. So this is how I plan to gear up my crafters and make some easy guild doing it. With very little work and a very sh fairly short amount of time, you can upgrade your gear, learn all the special recipes, and unlock a nice easy weekly guild bump. So even if you have already completed all custom delivery clients, I feel it's still worth doing every week. It's little work for a nice profit. Consider subscribing if you like this video. Comment below if you have any custom delivery tips. Thanks for watching. Bye.